Hey fellow SweetScript developers, Eric from Stoic Software here again. Uh, in this video, we are going to take a little break from our normal intensive SweetScript work and look at a few productivity tips using NetSuite's global search. Um, if your team happens to need a mentor for implementing uh, effective and productive NetSuite processes, then my strategic advisory program might be a good fit. You will find a link down at the top of the video description. All right, well, let's get started. Now, I'm sure most of you are already familiar with the NetSuite's global search, uh, the search box at the top where you can basically type any type of information and that's we will run a search for you. But what we want to do in this video is help you maximize the use of this search box and uh, build some very effective global searches to help make you a little more productive in the NetSuite UI. So first and foremost, there is a keyboard shortcut that will jump straight to the search box no matter which page you're on, uh, no matter where the focus of the cursor is, if you just hit Alt G, that's where we will jump the focus straight to the search box uh, and you can do a global search that way. So Alt and G as the global search keyboard shortcut. Now let's say I want to search for a customer and I have their customer number. Normally you would just type in the customer number. So great, here's C000670, uh, and this customer, uh, Fifth Baber Enterprises, pops up. Now, what if I only remember the 670, or I know there's a lot of zeros and I just don't want to type them all, I don't know how many there are. We can use the percent sign as a wildcard to kind of fill in gaps in our search. So if I don't want to type all these three zeros here, I don't remember how many there are, I can type you just throw the percent wild card in the middle and it still uh, finds the same customer number there. So anytime you kind of don't know or don't care to type uh, your search, uh, parts of your search query, you can use a, that percent as a wild card to fill in characters. Another thing we can do, the different customer here I've typed in a customer number that, uh, so all my customer numbers start with C and I want the one that ends in 1003. So we've got C percent 1003. I get this opportunity uh, for Jared Black, but I don't see the actual customer record for Jared Black in here for some reason. In this case, this customer is inactive, um, but if I want to, for whatever reason, search for or include inactive records in my results, I can append a plus sign to my query. And now uh, that inactive customer, Jared Black, shows up. So append a plus sign will show inactive results or inactive records in your results. Okay, now when we do a global search, that's where it doesn't really have any context for what we're trying to search. Um, so for example, Let's say I want to work with uh, a customer I have um, with, I know they have advanced in their name. And I get a lot of results here. I get pages, I get searches, I've got contacts, customers, opportunities. I get all kinds of results. Here's the actual customer. There they are that I actually want to work with. But they're buried in uh, a lot of unnecessary, irrelevant information or other results rather. So. Uh, if there were more than 11 results here, this might it might take me a long time to find these guys uh, buried in the results. So what NetSuite's global search allows us to do is add some filtering prefixes to help to help us uh, filter down our global search results. So I know that I only want customer records. So what I can do, I can type the type of record that I want, followed by a colon, and then my search query. So here, I've just typed out customer because I want to. I only want to search customers. I don't care about pages or searches or opportunities. So I type customer colon and then my search query. So if I do that, now I only get 
customer results. I don't get any pages, no searches, no opportunities, etc. I have filtered my results down to only be uh, customer records. And you actually, with these prefixes, don't need to specify the entire record type. Uh, you just need to give NetSuite enough to recognize what you're trying to search. So I can actually back this up to say C-U-S-T, and it still shows me only customer results. If I back it all the way up to C, though, now I get both contacts and customers uh, because NetSuite can't differentiate. It doesn't know which one we're trying to specify, so it gives us both. Uh, so you can use this uh, prefix behavior to kind of specify different levels of filtering or accuracy in your results. Um, so if I did want, I could actually do just CU, and that should give me only customers again. So you can use varying levels of specificity there in your record type, depending on the result set that you want. Now, I have another customer, uh, 3M, that I want to work with. And I searched for customer 3M, and it took me straight to uh, the 3M customer record in view mode. Uh, now, what if I want to go straight to edit mode. We can do that by just capitalizing our record type prefix. So instead of cu3m, if I capitalize the free filter and then do my search, now it takes me straight into edit mode. Another nice thing I can do is uh, open my results in a new tab or new window instead of overriding the one I'm looking at. So if I want to stay on the home page here, uh, but I want to open 3M's customer record in edit mode, I can capitalize my record filter. I put two colons instead of one, 3M. Aside from my little pop-up blocker, uh, that takes me to 3M's customer record in edit mode directly in a new tab, and I can switch back and forth now. Now another interesting prefix we have, we can actually go straight to a customer's dashboard. So instead of pulling up 3M's record, then clicking on their dashboard link, instead of doing that, I'll close this window, I can instead change my prefix to just dash, like so. And now I have the 3M dashboard. Notice I put two colons in the, the name here to so that it opened in a separate window. I don't need to do that. I could just put the one. So we can go, we can use the dash prefix to go straight to a customer's dashboard. Another handy prefix is the page prefix. So let's say I want to look at a report here. So we go reports. So I want to see sales orders by customer. I want to go look at that report. Uh, to normally navigate there, you go to reports, all the way down to sales, sales by customer. And so it's a pretty lengthy navigation path. Instead, the home page, I can use the page prefix. I can go straight to the report that way. And one last handy prefix we can use, we can use global search to search the help pages by using the help prefix. Help. Let's say I want to find the help page for the search module. Help colon and slash search. Allow the pop-up. And it gives me search results directly in help. All right, so 
really handy search uh, prefixes. I use those quite frequently. I think I use help the most. Um, so you don't have to click the help button and then search. You can search directly from the global search there. Now, one thing you'll notice in the search module is a global function. So we can actually perform global searches from SweetScript. Uh, it's a very simple syntax. There's only one option to specify, and that's the search string that we want to provide. Um, all of the syntax we've just talked about previously, so all of the prefixes, uh, appending plus sign, the percent wildcard, all of that syntax applies in SweetScript as well. Um, so whatever you would have typed in the search box, you can do the same thing by just typing and specifying that as the keywords option to the search module's global function. And it should work exactly the same as the UI. That's it for this lesson. If you like what you saw in this video, hit that thumbs up button and go share what you learned with somebody else. Click subscribe to stay tuned to all my videos and become a competent, confident SweetScript developer. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep learning. Keep sharing, and I'll see you next time.